Hey guys, Shea Bear 1000 here again. Today's experiment, we're going to crush this Coke can without using our hands. We're going to use some ice water and some heat. Stay tuned, I'll show you how to do that. Okay guys, we've got some ice water here. I don't have it on the heat. I've got this Coke can, but first thing, kids, don't try this by yourself. Get an adult to help you, okay? So, I've got this empty Coke can, but I have filled it up with, oh, about that much water right there, okay? What I'm going to do, oh, I spill it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set it right here on this burner. And I'm going to turn the burner on, okay? And I'm going to leave this on just until that can starts making some funny noises. And it doesn't take very long. Remember, kids, don't do this by yourself. There is a chance you can get burnt very badly, okay? So make sure, please make sure you have an adult with you supervising this. We've got these tongs right here. And this is what we're going to use to lift the can up and put it into the water. Now what that's going to do is it's going to make the outside pressure more than the inside air pressure. Okay, So the inside air pressure is going to get less. Okay, You're going to have less inside air pressure and you're going to have more outside air pressure. And that's what's going to squeeze that can together. Okay. I just cleaned the stove top off, so that's why you're seeing a little smoke there. So don't be alarmed. Let's say it again in slow motion. Okay guys, that's how you crush a can with nothing but water and heat. Remember kids, I can't express this enough. You can get burnt very badly doing this. So make sure you have a parent or an adult supervise you on this because it is very dangerous. So be careful guys. I don't want to see anyone get hurt. That's my disclaimer. Now, <clears throat> but again what happens is the pressure inside that can becomes less than pressure outside that causes it to create kind of like a vacuum and the outside pressure will actually squeeze that can because there's hardly any inside pressure that's how that does that kind of like the candle the candle in the water trick same thing it's all it all has to do with the atmospheric pressure and you change that when you heat the can up and dunk it in cold water so heat and cold of course does not mix so that's how that works kind of in a nutshell you have to google if they can explain it better than me but i just thought i'd i'd share that with you guys so again be careful kids and thanks for watching and shea bear 1000 the myth the man the legend i'm gone for now bye bye guys take care When it starts making that noise, be very careful. Pick this up. Fail.